So I want to start with a direct question, and that is, are you over terror threat warnings? If you are, it's understandable. There are so many of them, and they seem constant. So I want to explain what's behind the current threat warning about the risk of lone wolf terror attacks here on the U.S. homeland. Now, the current threat warning is not what they call in intel circles credible and specific in that they don't know of a particular target, a particular group, a particular time. But U.S. intel, U.S. law enforcement is genuinely concerned about an ISIS call to arms to supporters around the world to attack particularly now during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. There is a difference of opinion among counter-terror officials I speak to as to how unique this threat is. Some say it's the worst they've seen since 9-11. Others say they've seen this threat level many times since then. But regardless of that difference of opinion, what is different now is the level of unpredictability. Because lone wolves act alone or in small groups and with little operational planning, there's no operational planning to interrupt and there's no contact or little contact with leadership back in Iraq or Syria or elsewhere that can give an indication of an attack to come. So there are fewer chances to get early warnings of terror attacks and fewer chances to stop them. The good news is that lone wolf attacks tend to be less complex and therefore less deadly. So let me leave you with one hopefully comforting thought. The actual risk to Americans of being hurt by a terror attack on U.S. soil is minuscule. But the power of terrorism is that even that small risk makes Americans feel unsafe.